Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I really want to talk about Canopy Growth. Now, this company is growing at a very, very rapid rate. We're going to be seeing, should you buy this stock in 2021? So, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you get anything in value, hit that like button and subscribe. If you guys have any questions or concerns, go ahead and ask them down in the comments. And if you guys want to learn more about investing in the stock market, go ahead and check out my course. And you guys can use promo code DIVIDENDS to get 50% off. So at least check it out. We talk about fundamental technical analysis, taxes, how to find undervalued stock. We talk about it all. There'll be the first link down below. And hey guys, we have some merch, anything from hoodies, t-shirts, and even fanny packs. Make sure you guys check that out. And we will be doing a giveaway next week so stay tuned for that so now let's jump into it roll that intro let's go bam so now for those of you that don't know what canopy growth is and you kind of just stumbled across this video well canopy growth is a marijuana stock and a marijuana company that's growing at a very very fast rate now the stock has lows at 13 dollars last year and it hit highs at over $50 per share. So with that, there's a lot of investors and a lot of momentum behind this. And as an investor, you always think that this momentum is going to continue you know, for the next couple of years. But there is some fundamentals that you need to know before investing in this. Now, just the other day, the CEO of Canopy Growth actually came out and said that this company is going to be profitable by mid 2022. So literally, in probably a year and a half, this company is going to be profitable. Now, for an investor, that is awesome. That means there's going to be more money coming into this business and not leaving it. So overall, making this company worth more, making this stock go up even more. And the craziest part is when the news of this came out, the stock rose around 12%. So there's a lot of investors right now in this company. And now when evaluating a stock or a company or a business, you always have to look at the cash on hand. The cash on hand with any business is very, very important. Because if that say that business slows down, you wanna make sure that they have enough cash to get through a hard time. So they do have quite a bit of cash. Now, it looks like they do have roughly $1.3 billion. And this is an overall decline, which is kind of expected because the company is using some of that money to reinvest it into the business to make it larger, probably to become profitable. Now you always want to make sure that they don't have a lot of long-term debt. You know, long-term debt can swallow up a business and they don't have too much long-term debt. They have roughly uh, around 900 million in long-term debt. So it's really strong that they have more cash on hand than long-term debt. That's very, very important for your fundamentals. And now when looking at the revenue, the revenue is absolutely crazy. We have a 74% increase year over year, and this is an over $101 million in total revenue, which is phenomenal. You know, looking at all these revenue right here, you guys can see that every single one are increases. Looking at them, 74%, 50%, 40% another 40% and 82% so the company's growing at a very very rapid rate now one of the things that does concern me about canopy growth is their margin rate the margin rate right now is negative 300% so what this means is for every hundred dollars that canopy growth gets they actually lose three hundred dollars but the CEO thinks that they could probably make this company profitable I think that's a very very far way to go with this very very high margin but if he thinks he can do it you know I think there's a lot of pressure behind him to do it so I do think that's a very very cool thing if they can but this is gonna be something that's not gonna happen overnight for sure now looking at canopy growth the company is growing at a very very fast rate you know we have increases in revenue we have the CEO saying the company is gonna be profitable you know the next step is let's actually go ahead and look at the technical analysis so this is gonna be support resistance price targets everything like that so let's go ahead and check that out Alrighty guys, so we have ticker symbol CGC. This is canopy growth here. You guys can see that this stock does have lows here at $13 a share and highs here at 56, selling off to about $52. Now looking at basic support, basic resistance, now you guys can see it does have a little bit of some resistance here that probably would act as new support here at 45. Now the highs here are now the new uh, strong resistance for it. So you guys can make good educated trades just by judging this. Now, I really think that Canopy Growth does have a lot of long-term potential because I really believe the overall demand for this product is going to continue to increase um, over the next couple of years here. Now, I believe a fantastic strategy for a company like this would be dollar cost averaging. You know, the reason why I love dollar cost averaging 
is because you don't have to try to time the stock. You know, if it goes up, you make money because the stock value goes up. Now, the beauty is, is when it falls down, just like it did in here and here, you know, in here, all you do is you just average your position down. So it's a phenomenal way to invest. Instead of putting up one lump sum, you pretty much just invest into monthly or weekly increments. So you still get a phenomenal average price and you make money when it goes up. Now, the thing about it is it really likes to use these moving average lines as some overall support or resistance. So you guys can see it hit it in here. We did get some buying pressure, curled back down, hit it in here. We got some buying pressure. And now it's, there is a, a uh, quite a bit of separation between these moving average lines. So this could um, pretty much come in a couple of factors. We could get a little bit of sell-off or consolidation. I do think that probably will have a hard time breaking above 56. But overall, this is still a fantastic stock here to invest and I would highly recommend it. So that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe. If you guys have any questions or concerns, go ahead and ask them down in the comments. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. Take care. Bang.